far we have seen the difference between main class and subordinate class. After that, uh, the main kinds of conditional sentences. They are probable conditional sentence, improbable conditional sentence and unfulfilled conditional sentence. In this video, we are going to see probable conditional sentence. Look at uh, uh, the board ones. Probable conditional sentence. This is also called type 1 conditional sentence. What is the meaning of the probable? So in the probable condition, the word probable means possible. So in we can understand that it is a it is a probable one, it is a possible one. So the action in this probable conditional sentence is possible for any doer. So there is no distinction, there is no uh, difference between one performer and another performer. Whoever the uh, performer may be, the action is possible for him or for her. Look at uh, the structure of uh, uh, probable conditional sentence. Dear students, you remember for each conditional sentence, you need to remember three things. Number one, the tense of if clause and the tense of main clause and the time of action. The first one is, what is the form of the verb or the structure of if clause? It is simple present tense. That is subject plus V1 plus object. Sometimes object may not be found, but subject plus V1, that is enough to say simple present tense. Coming to main class, main class tense is in simple future. Simple future structure is subject plus will or can plus V1 plus object. Uh, in place of will, can also be used, sometimes may also be used. Okay, coming to time of action. When do we use, for what actions is a probable conditional sentence is used? For future actions for future actions these are the three things to be remembered so this probable conditional sentence is a possible one and it is also a real one in real life uh, in reality the, the action is possible that is why it is called a probable conditional sentence look at the example look at the example if you go now you will catch the train about this example in the previous video just I have explained the difference between main class and subordinate class but here you try to understand the meaning of this sentence now we focus on only the meaning of the sentence if you go now comma you will catch the train generally the two classes the subordinating class and main class is separated by a comma okay when you write main class first and subordinate class next there is no need to put comma between those two classes remember this point if you go now in this class what is introduced condition is introduced and you will catch the train what is seen here the outcome of the uh, condition or the result of that condition so in subordinate class or uh, in this class we see only condition condition is introduced and here in main class in main class we see the outcome or the result uh, is the same. Okay, look at this uh, example. When we, when we try to understand the meaning of this sentence, uh, okay, if you go now, okay, for example, now the time is 4.30, imagine, now the time is 4.30 p.m., imagine, and uh, uh, you, you is a person, a person has to go from his uh, uh, ho, ho, uh, hometown to railway station. To go to uh, railway station from his home, it may take uh, uh, 20 minutes, it may take 20 minutes. Okay, the distance is 5 kilometers. Now the time is 4.30, but the train is at 5 p.m. Now the train is at 5 p.m. So if you if you go now, I am the speaker, I am speaking to this person. If you go now at what time? At 4.30 p.m. Then train time is 5 o'clock. If you go now, you will catch the train because 
to get it to the railway station it's a matter of 15 minutes or 20 minutes but he uh, has 30 minutes time in his hand so there is a probability there is a possible for this uh, traveler or passenger to get to the railway station in time and catch the train that is the meaning so probability or the possibility of the action is uh, more and more he is uh, here the action is uh, more likely to happen that is why we can say it is a probable or possible or the real one so but the, remember if the condition is fulfilled okay this action happens only when the condition is fulfilled if this happens that will happen if this doesn't happen that will not happen but to happen this action chances are more and more because as a speaker i know about his temperament and i am expecting that he starts now and it is probable for him and so that he can get to the railway station in time to catch the train that is the meaning of the sentence okay in if class simple present tense in main class simple future tense look at the second sentence if you perform well they will select you here you is a, a candidate he is going to attend an interview okay i know that fellow very, uh, very well so i tell him if if you perform well they will select you in the interview interview board the members will select you when when you fulfill this condition what is that condition perform well as a speaker i say i am expecting that he performs well i know that you perform well i know that you you deserve to uh, uh, to perform well i know that you have such a, a capability or a talent or ability so if you perform well they will select you so probability is more and more see more likely the action uh, will take place so this is an example second example look at the third example if you study well you will get good marks see as a student i know him very well okay as a student i know i know you so you you can study you, uh, you are a good student you are a clever one i i expect i hope that you study well you continue the same kind of preparation practice and uh, study and it will be continued if it is continued like this if you study well you will get uh, good marks so there is a uh, probability for the action to take place that means chances are more and more for the action to take place but uh, that is called the probable conditional sentence and uh, another example if i get a government job i will give you a party the same this in this example also as a speaker i say if i get a government job i am very i am hopeful of getting a job i am confident of getting a job i expect that i i get a job i am sure that i may get a job so this there is a probability if it happens so i will give you a party see remember in all these examples we observe only one thing what is that thing in if classes if the condition is fulfilled and the result will be seen at a later time or at a future time so the actions are more likely to happen that is why we can say it is a probable conditional sentence sentence remember in probable condition the action is more likely to happen so that it is called a possible action or a real action please subscribe our channel english victor thank you